What's up guys, it's your boy Racy Boy back with another video guys. Good morning, how are you guys? We're doing a morning mukbang. We're going to get back to that guys and we're going to talk real talk, okay? Because I know people have been wondering where I've been in the comments and I'm going to let you guys know what's going on. And the reason why I'm able to do mukbangs, again, the house is quiet, my parents are gone. Um, I'm watching my grandpa, I just fed him breakfast and I am um, here waiting for Jama to come, but... I gotta wait until my parents get back, so I can't just leave him by himself. But let's talk real talk, okay? I hope you guys are ready. Let's get into it. All right, so we are having ground turkey, corn, and fat-free ranch, and then we have my brisk tea, okay? And some people are walking in front of my house. My dog doesn't see them. Okay, we good. I'm sorry the quality is not good, guys. I know people have complained that the quality is not good. It's not my fault. It's just that I have a sucky phone. My iPhone's right here. This thing doesn't even hold anything anymore. I need to clean out my iCloud. And that's what's pissing me off because I don't know what the hell's in my iCloud, but I need to delete it because it's your storage is full. Your storage is full. Let's say grace. Dear God, bless this food and bless this time. And please, God, bring me a good godly woman and let us have good kids and help me find the right job and help me get the move out of my parents' house as soon as something comes available. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, guys. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Reese S. Boy 30. I've done a whole weight loss journey in the last three years. I'm at a pat toe right now. See, my neck is a lot skinnier than before because I had like this little hill right here. And watch my videos and you'll see what I'm talking about. I wasn't just showing you my neck. <laughs> but anyways, guys, I'm trying the filter is going in and out. But anyway, I'm not doing good, guys. I'm not doing good at all. Like, at all. Like... If it's not one thing, it's something else. Like, I'm just not doing good. Like, every time I think that, like, I got my foot in the door and something good is about to happen, something gets pulled from under me. And it's so frustrating because there are people who are in my circle, family members, I'll say it like that, they're family members, that, and I'm not using any names and I'm not saying anything because there's snitches on this channel and it always gets back to people and I don't want to deal with any type of issues because I'm at the point right now where I will snap on somebody and they don't want to get the full anger racy boy because I have buttons that can be pushed and when they're pushed, it's another thing coming. So anyways, um, I am... She needs a little salt. Aren't these cute little salt shakers and pepper shakers that my mom bought? Because the salt comes out like that, see? You only have to do a little bit. And then the pepper comes out like this too, look. See? see? That's so cute. Anyway, I don't know what's wrong with me. I can't talk and eat anymore, especially eating dried stuff. This is dry. And my nose is really plugged. Hold on, let me blow my nose off camera. That's so disgusting. Give me one minute. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I don't know what's wrong with me. I cannot breathe right now or eat at the same time. It's weird. I used to be able to do that, but it's like, unless I'm coming down with a cold, I don't know because the weather keeps changing. It goes from the 30s to the 70s. I'm like, I don't know anymore. And our granny nanny's out with a cold. And my aunt has a cold. So it could be, and it's it could just be in the air. Um. Anyways, guys. I'm not doing good, okay? I'm not, and I don't mean in a sick way. I mean in like a mental way. I mean in a way of like. I just don't feel good. I'm frustrated. I'm angry. Um, and when I mean don't feel good, like my PTSD, one of the worst depressions out there, is so bad right now. Like, it's so bad. Like, I got attacked by a certain person yesterday. Um, I 
I got bad news from the air, the, the job that I really wanted. I just don't know. I miss people, but I'll say it like this, okay? So there's this person that I miss a lot because we had a lot of fun in the last two years, right? A lot of fun together. But this person, this person is too similar with another person that drives me bonkers, okay? This person, these two people have the same personality, but a little slightly different, just a little slightly different. And I just, I can't, I can't deal with it. But at the same time, I still miss the person. So I don't know if it's a bipolar mode, like one minute you like the person, the next minute you don't. But it has nothing to do with that. It has to do with, it has to do with this person crosses the boundaries a lot in my life, a lot, a lot in my life. And I don't want to be rude and be like, hey, 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 that's that's too far. Or, hey, hey, hey. I don't know how to say no. And my sister is teaching me how to say no. Like, hey, no, it's not going to work at this time. I can't do it. Sorry. You know, like, I don't know how to say no because I'm such a pushover and I'm so thinking about like, oh, I don't want to hurt that person's feelings. But, you know, sometimes it's like, screw it. Who cares? You know, they don't care. Uh, yeah, I'm getting sick. I can feel it. I have a cold. Um, That's probably why this food doesn't taste good to me. Um, Anyways, so, yeah, like, and my depression on top of that is so bad. Like, this thing is so crippling, like. I don't know how other people who have the same type of depression that I have cope in life. But a lot of them don't. A lot of them do drugs or alcohol or drink or eat or or whatever, you know. But me, I ate my feelings. That's why I was obese and, and I still am obese. Um, and that was why I pushed away so many people from my life. Like, I'm not okay. Like, I don't... I put on an act to make people think that I'm okay because in my home... You can't show weakness because if you show weakness, um, I just wasn't raised that way. I was always raised that, oh, it's okay. Just pray about it and God will help you. And I'm not saying God doesn't help you and I'm not saying that praying is bad. But when someone is really suffering and someone is so sad inside and angry at the world and everyone around them and angry at their self mostly, they need help. Like something happened to me and I, I I think I've talked about it more in my TikTok. You can go watch it because YouTube is very picky. But something happened to me at a young age. We never talked about it. It bothered me all through my teens. I started gaining weight from it. It happened to me again in my early 20s. People who deal with that and have it happen to them multiple times, um, people don't come back from it. They mentally don't come back from it okay. They literally come out with, society puts it out like this. If something like that happens to you, most people, their self, or they, the cycle repeats itself, or $12 for what? Hold on, guys. Someone just call, charged my card $12 for what? Apple TV. Why am I paying $12 for Apple? This is why I don't like this shit. If you see Apple. <laughs> but I didn't buy that, so no, give me my money back. Whatever, it's $12, it's not bad. Anyways, guys, 
getting back to what I was saying, um, no, society always says when something like that happens to you that you should be introduced, you should be in an institution or whatever the word is, or you should be on medication for the rest of your life to make sure that you can function in life. But if you have God and you have strong people in your life, you don't really need, like I've been on medication. I've seen over nine counselors in the last nine years. I have done it all. I've I've done it all. Let's just say that. Because I don't know what I can say without YouTube trying to flag this video because they're getting very picky now. And I don't know why. Like, let people tell their story and why flag their, and if they do flag this video, so what? Like, I'm not making money from YouTube anyway, so it's not a big deal. But, like, YouTube needs to change their guidelines. If people are not telling you to do it, that's one thing. But if they're helping other people conquer their fears or conquer their in depression, let it be up on YouTube. There's no problem with that. Like, watch the person's video before you flag it. Like, that makes no sense. Come on, YouTube. Um, But... I don't know if I told you guys my story of my attempt on, yeah, myself. Um, when I was Baker Acted, guys, it was a dark time for me. Like, it was really dark for me. And I can say right before, like, right before I got sick with um, a blood clot and pneumonia and almost died, I was done. I did not care. Like, I was so dark. Like there was this like this dark cloud over me that just would not go away. And I just remember being like, like, this is it, God? Like this is this is why you put me on this earth? This is literally what I'm supposed to be. Like this is so you don't have my mother have an abortion. You give me to a family that acts like they really don't want me. Um that, oh, if I would have known the truth, then I would have never adopted you. That's what my adopted mother said. Um siblings. There are two, two that I'm not going to mention their name, who are two male, who don't give a crap about me, wouldn't even care, wouldn't even probably, if I was on fire, would probably walk by me like, oh, the paramedics got it. I'm good. Like, please, those are not brothers. Those are, no. Nah. And I help with both of their kids every time their kids are here. I'm nice to both of them, but it's just like, I know it's fake. It's such a fake relationship. It's like a total stranger would see that it's fake, would be like, that's how they treat you? I'm like, yep. And they would be like, why do you even put up with it? I'm like, I don't. I just, I'm numb when they're around. Like, I really don't even, I don't even really talk because I know it's fake. Um, but it's like, I went through life like, okay, God, this is my purpose. This is why I'm here. So honestly, I know people are like, what the heck is Reese Boy talking about? But I'm telling you guys what I'm dealing with right now. In 2022, on February 16th or February 17th, and what's been going on for the beginning of 2022, that it's just like, I'm so, I don't know anymore, guys. And it's funny because it's like, I have people to talk to about it, but... I'm not saying that they don't relate and I'm not saying that they, they don't understand, but at the same time, it's like, you don't want to be preached at. You don't want someone that's going to be a, oh yeah, I understand. I understand. I understand. But it's like, truly, do you under, like, I mean, like there are certain people that I've went to about issues that I'm just like, nah, you don't understand. You're just saying that because you, you, yeah, you just don't understand. And what I mean by that, what I mean by that, I know I'm, I'm so thankful for them being there. But what I mean by that is like when you're preaching at a person so much about something, they don't want to be preached at. They want you to hear them. And I was actually talking about this with my sister not that a while back about how a lot of Christians and a lot of churches are like, oh, it's OK. Just pray about it and God will heal you. No, no, no. I'm not saying prayer doesn't work. But when someone needs help, they need help. They need to get counseling. OK. And luckily, I have good people in my life that. They know what I'm dealing with. Like John and Lily, they know what I'm dealing with. My sister and my brother-in-law, who's my brother, who's like my number one brother, they understand what I'm going through. Jama, she understands what I'm going through. Um, my sister-in-law, she, both of my sister-in-laws understand what I'm going through. My aunties, my other sister, 
my other brother, they understand what I'm going through because they know what the problem is. It's not me. It's, yeah. Um, and I got to be careful because I got to use code words because there are snitches. This will get back. It's going to be blown out of proportion. It's going to be a big deal. If I could block that person, I would, but I don't even know who the snitch is. I mean, I, I have an understanding who the snitch is, but it's whatever. Um, they think they're helping the situation and they're not. They're making it worse because it's whatever. Because I, I made a video way back when, guys, and out of 50 videos that I did on my channel, this person told my mother to watch this one channel, this one video that I went in, but I didn't even go in that bad. I was just telling how I felt, and I had every right. It was my channel. If we would have went to court, they'd have been like, he has every right. That's his channel, you know? He's not threatening you or anything. He's just talking. That's what people do in books, you know? It's not a big deal. But this person, and I know who it was. I know exactly who it was because they admitted to me later that they were the ones who did it. But they only did it because they were forced to do it by another person whom I'm not mentioning because um, I don't want to ruin their reputation or whatever the word is. But it's like situations like that. It's like they look at me like I'm retarded, stupid, and slow, right? And I don't understand what I'm doing. So they think that I shouldn't even have this platform. But it's like, if I'm retarded, stupid, and slow, how can I grow a platform at almost 4,000 subscribers and a TikTok that's at 4.4 million likes and almost 3,000 followers and have whatever, you know, and I'm not trying to boast or whatever, but I'm just saying if someone's that slow and, and there are people with Down syndrome on TikTok that have more than me that are almost verified. So it's like, come off of it, please. Y'all don't know what you're talking about. But real talk, getting back to what I'm talking about, guys. I'm hurting. So when people want to send me messages on TikTok and Instagram and YouTube, Rizzy boy, where you been at? What's going on? Da, 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 da. We don't understand. You're being you're being rude. I'm dealing with a lot. Did I think in 2020 to now? Did I think one I'd be stuck on my weight journey where I am now? No. I thought I would have made my goal, be working, be modeling, acting, whatever I wanted to do. Because I felt like weight was in the problem, was, you know, the problem why no one wanted to hire me, even though people did. But I was just, I was scared. To them, be still dealing with the same crap that I'm dealing with from the same people treating me the same way and haven't changed. To still living with my parents, being annoyed with that, not having my license yet, being annoyed with that. Not not having a job yet, but having so many offers, being offered jobs, but them not falling through. And people thinking that, oh, he doesn't really want to work because he always backs out when it's time for him to start working. No, things happen. I get offered jobs that are freaking like an hour away from where I live. Is it smart for me to work that job? No, because how am I going to get to work in the morning and back home? That doesn't make any sense. Like, come off of it. So I hate when people say stuff like that because they don't understand what's truly going on in my life. And when they want to attack me and they want to say stuff like, oh, he doesn't really care about us. He got to the point where he wanted him back away. Honestly, if that was the truth, I would get to be get both of my plaques, have a million followers, be notarized, be known. And then I would walk away. Why would I walk away when my channel's a baby channel and not even halfway there? That's stupid. I hate when people say that because it's like, I'm not even getting paid. I'm literally at $2 right now and being monetized. whoop de do People make a hundred, people make thousands of dollars on YouTube and live off of it. I don't. I don't go live because no one ever comes. I don't go live on TikTok because no one ever comes. They're always go live, go live. I go live and no one shows up ever. Or if they show up, they don't say anything because they're too afraid or whatever it is. So it's like, why do I go live? No one's going to come. I'm not going to waste my time sitting there and killing my battery just for zero viewers. Zero viewer. Two hours later, still zero viewers. Or they'll come in, they'll say hi, and they'll leave. And I understand people have busy lives, but don't tell me to go live if you're not going to even sit there and talk to me. Like, I'm not going to waste my time. That's just who I am. And John was like, don't be like that. I have to be like that. She gets about 
a thousand viewers every time she goes live because she's famous in the Philippines. I'm not. And if people come to my lives in the Philippines, they want money. That's all they're coming for. They don't care about me. They don't care about me at all. Because they don't support none of my stuff. They ask me to support them, but they don't support me at all. So, no. I'm not doing that no more. I'm not supporting people in the Philippines that don't support me. I'm sorry. That's just who I am. I've been used by so many people. So many people. And I'm not doing that anymore. Sorry. If it's mean, then you all can unsubscribe to my channel. It's fine. I'm good. Because I'm this close. This close to... Let's just say I'm this close to stopping all of it. I will leave my channel up, but I will not come back. It'll just be there. It'll be the little channel that could and disappeared. So don't test me because I'm at that point right now. I'm really at that point where social media is just not for me. I don't look good. I don't have a six pack. I don't have any of that stuff. I'm not talented. I can't sing or dance or whatever the only thing i'm good at is photography and yes some of these photographers do awesome jobs with their channels i love their channels but i don't have the money to do that i can't just pick up and leave and say okay i want to travel the world and take pictures and do youtube videos they worked before that and then quit their job had enough money and savings to turn their their dream into a career and that's what I think. I think I did it backwards i should have worked 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 and by the time i got to my 30s then be like, you know what? Let me try it social media and then tell the story of what happened. That's what I should have done. Instead of doing it vice versa and being like, oh yeah, now I want to start social media at 20, 29 years old, 25, 27, whatever year I was in 2018, whatever, however old I am. Five years almost in. This May, May 14th of this year makes five years I've been on YouTube. What do I have to show for it? nothing so when people doubt my channel when people say crap about my channel i go hey you're right it is boring my own cousins told me it was boring okay cool stop watching you know who you are don't watch i don't care i don't care they're probably believing a lie right now anyways that i was so rude to their mother so it's it's okay i'm cool with it i'm cool with it that situation and i i wasn't going to talk about it but i need to talk about it i need to talk about it i'm not using any names or anything because i don't want to ruin their 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 whatever the crap was but that situation should have never happened i was forced into a person coming to stay with us i was forced into a person trying to tell me what they wanted me to do in my own home that i live in and then gets mad at me when i shut down the reason why i shut down was because you were being too controlling too bossy you were acting just like my mother and it was driving me crazy. And I had every right to shut down. I was in your home. I went by your rules. I listened to your crap. I had to hear your stories. I had to listen to everything that you said. And then you come here and switch it on me and tell my mom that everything's my fault. No, 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 no. Not happening. I deal with that enough. And then you're making up all these lies and I'm getting yelled at and I'm getting screamed at. But you forget, you can go home. I can't go home. I'm home. So, no. So, that's just my opinion. That's why... It ain't gonna happen no more. I'm done. That relationship is done, dead, dead as a door now. I don't care if they see this, see it. Whoop de doo. I don't care. It's my platform. Get off my platform. Unsubscribe. Doesn't bother me. It's real talk, guys. That's how I feel. So sorry if I've hurt people's feelings. Sorry if people are like, what the hell is Reese Boy talking about? But I'm pissed off and I'm tired of this crap. Like, it's so annoying. Like, if you guys don't see me for a while, that's what happened. I just quit. I was done. I'm peachy. I'm over it. Like, social media is not for me. I don't really think it's for me anymore, guys. It might be almost time to throw in the throw in the towel. Five years into it, it might be time to say peace out. Sorry. I miss you guys. I'll love you guys forever. I'll always be here for you guys. I might still post a little bit on TikTok, but I think this channel is dead. I really do. I really think that it's dead. I might post here or there, maybe six months, maybe five years. Who knows? But I think this channel is dead. But still support Jama TV because I still feel good things are coming for her channel. But she's working so much, so she's having a problem with her channel too. But I think I think my channel is dead. I'm still proud of her to be almost a 6,000 followers and getting paid from YouTube and everything. And she's only had her channel for a year, going on two years this the 15th of May. And I'm going on five years. And I'm thankful that I got monetized. I'm happy that that happened. Because it's so hard now to get monetized. So I'm so thankful for that. But besides that, I think that's it.
I didn't get to rap. I think it's time to say goodbye to YouTube. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. <sighs> time to say I'm quitting YouTube. Goodbye for now. Did someone just ring a now? All right, guys, we're 25 minutes into this video, guys. I love you guys with my whole heart. I think I need to say it. Goodbye for now, guys. Bye-bye. I don't know when you... When you guys will see me again. It still sounds like someone broke in here. But from now on, date time... 10.56 on February, Tuesday, Thursday, February 17th, 2022. It's a wrap. I don't want to cry, but it's a wrap, guys. It's a wrap. Bye-bye for now, guys. Peace.